Rumors of Kate and Meghan feud says more about us than them. While rumors of a bitter feud between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton are just rumors, there is one grain of truth we can't deny. Meghan Markle is a volatile dictator. At least, this is what the papers would have us believe. As the latest story to come from an impeccable palace source via The Sun alleges Meghan nailed at one of Kate's staff. According to the newspaper, the Duchess of Cambridge found out about the incident in May, before the royal wedding, and told her now sister-in-law that it was unacceptable to speak to her employees in this way. The palace has issued a rare comment on the gossip, categorically stating that is untrue, for all the good it did. This allegation is just one more drop in the ocean of rumors drowning Kate and Meghan in the public assumption that they don't get on. And how could they? They're two attractive women in similar high-profile positions. Society has a Hunger Games mentality when it comes to these matters, only one can prevail in order for us to make sense of it all. Other rumors flying around this week alone have been that Kate was left in tears after Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress fitting, that Meghan Markle has very high standards, and that the Duchess of Sussex intends to return to acting and try as we might to ignore it. There is one common thread in all these rumors. As they say, there's no smoke without fire. But the fire isn't where you think it is. The one thing that is clear in each and every one of these rumors about Meghan Markle is this. There is nothing more terrifying to the status quo than a woman who thinks for herself. A woman who dares to move too far outside of the role dictated for her by society will experience the rubber band snap of public opinion sooner or later. And what started as a trickle of backlash after everyone got sick of writing about Meghan's bump has now become a roaring tide. The crazies on Twitter won't like it but it is clear that Meghan is regarded as difficult and demanding by some in the family and on staff, wrote royal correspondent Richard Palmer on Twitter last week. Others were quick to point out the shock resignation of Meghan's closest palace aide a few weeks earlier as proof of this. The only thing that has been proven, however, is that we have a stunning lack of imagination when it comes to categorizing women. We have the Madonna slash WH re archetype, and we doggedly stick with it. Meghan, older than Harry, American, an actress, must certainly fit into the latter, and thus live out her days labeled as difficult, demanding, and bossy. Kate, let's not forget the weighty Katie headlines, will forever be positioned as an innocent of dowdy waif bravely shouldering her duties as the obedient future queen. The headlines about Meghan and Kate will not stop coming. Our appetite for salacious gossip is trumped only by our appetite for pitting women against one another, so we can be sure that this feud will dominate the news cycle until Meghan gives birth. But might I gently suggest that as you read them, you apply some critical thinking and search for the underlying grain of truth. Sadly, You'll probably find that the woman hating at the core of these stories isn't coming from either one of the duchesses, but from us.